Come, Altair. Speak with me a moment. As you wish. Word has reached me of your success. You have my gratitude and that of the realm. Freeing these cities from their corrupt leaders will no doubt promote the cause of peace. Can you really be so sure? The means by which men rule are reflected in their people. As you cleanse the cities of corruption, you heal the hearts and minds of those who live within. Our enemies would disagree. What do you mean? Each man I've slain has confessed strange words to me. They are without regret. Even in death they seem confident of their success. Though they do not admit it directly, there is a tie that binds them. I'm sure of it. There is a difference, Altair, between what we are told to be true and what we see to be true. Most men do not bother to make the distinction. It is simpler that way. But as an assassin, it is your nature to notice, to question. Then what is it that connects these men? Ah, but as an assassin, it is also your duty to still these thoughts and trust in your master. For there can be no true peace without order, and order requires authority. You speak in circles, master. You commend me for being aware, then ask me not to be. Which is it? The question will be answered when you no longer need to ask it. I assume you called me here for more than just a lecture. <laughs> Very well. A rank and weapon are again restored to you. Two more leaders remain. Go and see to it that their rule is ended. Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield a blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. Perfect! The work of a master! And that, my students, is how we all should fight. I understand. The short blade is best for quickly fending off multiple enemies. Rafiq. Word has spread of your deeds, Altair. It seems you are sincere in your desire to redeem yourself. I do what I can. And sometimes you do it well. I assume it is work that reunites us? Yes. William of Montferrat is my target. What can you tell me of the man himself? William has been named regent while the king conducts his war. The people see it as a strange choice given the history between Richard and William's son, Conrad. But I think Richard rather clever for it. Clever how? Richard and Conrad do not see eye to eye on most matters. Though they are civil enough in public, there are whispers that each intends evil upon the other. And then, there was that business with Akar's captured Saracens. In its wake, Conrad has returned to Tyre, and Richard has compelled William to remain here as his guest. You mean his hostage? Whatever you wish to call it. William's presence here should dissuade Conrad from acting out. I've never been one for politics. But surely you realize your every action shapes the course of this land's future. You are a politician too, in your own way. As you wish. Now where would you suggest I begin my search? Richard's Citadel, southwest of here. Or rather, the market in front of it. You'll find the Cathedral of the Holy Cross in that direction as well. 
It's a popular place and should be filled with talkative citizens. Finally, try the border to the west, where the chain and hospitaller districts meet. That should start you on your way. Very well. I won't disturb you further. It's no trouble at all. Altair, always in need of a hand to do your dirty work. This time, Al Muelim did not order anything. It is just for my own pleasure that I ask you to find some Masia flags I've hidden in Richard's district. Since I am a loyal assassin unlike others, I will tell you what people are saying in Akka. It is important information. But this time, try to come back to me faster than the first time. Your hard work is changing my opinion of you. Here is what I know about William of Montferrat. He and Richard had a disagreement before the king left for Jaffa. Since then, William stays in his citadel, surrounded by his army. Do you have what it takes to attack him in this protected environment? We'll see, but I am still doubtful. William of Montferrat has replaced many of the district's honest merchants with men loyal to his cause. He seeks to weaken faith in King Richard by overcharging honest citizens for poorly crafted goods. These corrupt merchants must be removed. Find their stands and destroy them. A few coins, all I ask for is but a few coins. Please. 
You need something? Thank you for the help, Altair. It may seem a small thing you've done today, but it's important nonetheless. This bit of paper should prove useful when you finally face William. Stand up, friends. Do not allow yourself to be sent to slaughter based on the whims and wishes of an uncertain king. We must rely on men who are stronger in their convictions. Men like William of Montferrat. I make you. Do not give up without 
Pieces on me. The Take them. Our Lord. Take them and go. It's not gold away. I seek, but information. I know nothing. You know William. Tell These me how to reach him. It's impossible. He meets with the king. And, so and when will the king be gone? King Today. But it won't help you. They're sure to argue. And then William will retire to lecture the soldiers. So it always goes. Richard ways. berates William. William berates his men. He won't see you. I already told you. Be not afraid. I need to see William. I never said he needs to see me. Then our business Do is done. Not, not yet, I'm afraid. Lies. There's Poisonous one last thing I need from you. What is it? Your life. <laughs> find yourself tempted. Go and pray. Ask God for direction. Your heart is pure. He will surely answer. Horrible. Stay strong, citizens. Remain. <laughs> Fixed in your beliefs, though the road is long. And your trials many. Do you think he's being chased by someone? Oh God, don't kill me! Oh, it's you, Altair. You scared me. Richard's men are after me. Two of them, to be exact. I was trying to strike a deal with them, but I realized that they were toying with me, so I ran away. You shall be the angel of death and collect their heads before they collect mine. When it is done, I shall tell you of the deal. Just a few coins, please. What the hell do you want? <laughs> I need money. Money. <laughs> <laughs> what a relief it is to know that I am safe. Thank you, Master. I tried to make a deal with the Citadel guards to leave the gates open, even when the alarm sounds. I failed you. So now, your only escape from Richard's Citadel will be to climb the fortress walls. Forgive me. Safety and peace, brother. Although it seems I'll be receiving neither. Serves me right, I suppose. Got a bit careless, and now William sent his bowmen after me. I deal with them myself, but to be honest, I lack the skill. Would you be willing to seek them out and kill them? 
I, I might have something useful for you, were you to accept. But be careful not to let them see you. All we need do is ask. And so I say to you, repent! Lay down before him and confess no, your sin. He will forgive. Such is his nature. And beg forgiveness we must, for only when our hearts and minds are... <laughs> I need money, sir. I'm poor and sick and hungry. Thank you, Montaigne. I can once more move freely through the city. In exchange for your aid, take this map I prepared. It shows where William has stationed his other archers. Most useful should you find yourself inside his fortress. But God is also merciful, and our past misdeeds may be forgotten. So I say to you, repent! Fiche le camp! They let you come and go as you please. I thought the fortress was closed to all. Aye, but William wishes to have repairs completed as soon as possible. It's been to our advantage. The perfect cover. It's clever. Anyway, I've finished my report and should deliver it. For once, it seems things might go our way, and not by accident. Well, the Bible does say God helps those who help themselves. Nah, it doesn't, actually. That's from one of Aesop's fables. The Bible says quite the opposite, in fact. Many passages of being patient and faithful and waiting for the Lord to decide if he wishes to assist. Well, I say we've waited long enough. You'll hear no argument from me. Very well. I'm off then.
Oh, he's going to hurt himself. And when he does, I won't help him. Oh, he should stop acting like a child. 